Yo, <laughs> what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. It has been quite a few days since we uploaded a video. Just been super busy with uh, work and a few things around the house, but we are back. And next week, we are going to be trying to upload a video every day of the week. So I have some time next week. So tune in for that. I got my coffee, cafe con leche, with my uh, Harley Davidson cup mug. What am I saying? Don Bustelo in the morning is always good. All right, so I want to have this discussion mainly because I thought it it might be very informational to you, might be very helpful, and in today's climate, um, a lot of us are trying to save uh, a buck here and there, right? So I wanted to give you my top two economical Harley Davidsons that you can get right now. So there's gonna be one soft tail and there's gonna be one Torin, and then at the end we're gonna do a bonus bike just because. So, um, if you are on the market and you are looking for a soft tail right now, you don't want a torn bike, right? You want to go up above the sports lineup. The most economical bike you can get right now is a soft tail standard. It's basically a street bob, just a bit more stripped down, more basic looking, and it, you're going to get it for $1,500 cheaper. So the price on that is going to run you 13599 as opposed to the new street bot that's gonna cost you 14999 so a bit of a difference right there and you must be asking yourself what is the huge difference well for 2021 obviously as you know we have uh the new street bob which comes with a few little different teens here there so it goes to 114 right now it comes uh, two up ready comes with the pillion seat um and different paint jobs that's about it right that's that's literally about it um on the standard you're gonna get more of that chrome look brush aluminum on the rocker heads um they're both gonna have that one disc front brake in the front um and basically it basically the biggest difference is gonna be the engine size which is only a 10 percent more on the 114 um and then your paint options really because yeah harley davidson gives you the cheapest price for the black which is how the standard comes. And it comes with that nice little um, Harley Davidson logo on the tank, very minimal. Now, economical is one thing, but you've really got to sit down and think to yourself, what are you really going to be doing to, to this bike, right? So, I'll put myself for an example. I got my 2020 Lowrider S behind me, pretty pricey bike. That bike is going to run you close to 19, 20 grand, right? And um, I've done quite a few things on it, and I've seen other people who've done even more to it. So think about it this way, um, you are going to get on the standard a just a base bike, just naked, very raw, and it's going to be a blank canvas for you to build up on it. You're going to save yourself a ton of money because if you're going to go with more an expensive bike, you're going to end up tearing everything apart the same way you're going to do with the standard. You're going to end up putting new parts the same way you're going to do with the standard. And it's just gonna be more cost effective in the long run for just for you to start with a standard. If your main priority is gonna be to build out a nice little project bike, a nice little ripper for you, um, if your main target is to build out a bike, I would go with the standard. I wouldn't do a street bob, honestly. Um, it's just, like I said, you're gonna be taking parts off that you're gonna pay extra money for, so. Why pay that show money for? Now, if you're the type of person who is really not gonna build out that bike and you just wanna get that bike for what it is, keep it as is and that's it, then, you know, might as well pay a little extra and if you're able to, obviously, because we're talking about economy right now, how economical these bikes can be. Um, if you don't mind that, then yeah, I would just get a street bop instead or, you know, anything else on the soft tail platform if you're not gonna play around with a bike that way. But if you are gonna do a major build, standard I think is the perfect way to go. Um, it's just no doubt about it. Me personally, if I was gonna do it, um, I, between the street bob and the standard, and if I'm gonna sit here myself and I'm gonna build something out like the way I'm thinking I, I would do, I would, I would do standard, honestly. Um, and that's because I would probably end up the type of build I would want to do, yeah, I would change a bunch of stuff and do a custom paint job and an FXRT fairing on it and a ton of other crap. So, yeah, that's that's my choice. 
All right, now moving on to tour models. The cheapest tour model you're gonna be able to get is gonna be the electric glide standard, which is gonna come at $18,999, compared to the street glide, where that's gonna start at $21,999. So a bit of a huge difference right there. Um, and we'll go over the big, huge difference right now, which with, with this one, it's major, major difference. Um, so on the standard, compared to the street glide, because that's what it basically is, just a, a tear down street glide. Um, you're not gonna have the infotainment system. Um, you're not gonna have the speakers. Um, so forget about the music. Um, it comes with a solo seat. Doesn't come with a tool up at the street glide. Um, what else? Uh, the lights in the rear, the rear lights are a bit different. Um, and then besides that, just pretty much gonna be the same exact bike. Uh, for the vent in the front, you're not gonna have the button to have access to open or close uh, the wind vent in the front where the fairing's at. And that's pretty much it. That's gonna pretty much be your difference. For that $3,000 difference, you are gonna get a stereo and an infotainment system on the street glide, plus a two-up C and a lot of stuff here and there, right? So it's all secret that right now the climate in the tour models, the biggest thing right now is performing baggers, right? Performing baggers. So let's get into that. If you are going to get a bagger that you're gonna build out to be a performance bagger, um, I think the standard will be the perfect bike to do it. Um, you're gonna, like I said before, it's the same thing as the soft tail standard. You're gonna be tearing apart this bike to add on aftermarket parts and different stuff. Um, why not start at a $3,000 low cost? Wait, no, that doesn't sound right. Why not start at a bike that's worth $3,000 less? That sounds better. Um, and you could literally use those $3,000 for parts and accessories. So that's number one, right? We all saw the amazing things that these guys were able to do this year with uh, Battle of the Baggers. Um, and a lot, a lot of those bikes were, uh, I saw quite a few that were just, um, just standards and they build those bikes out to be phenomenal bikes um, so the standard is also going to come with the 107 um, same thing as the street glide 107 but now with the street glide special you get the 114 as well so that's a different option right there so if performance bagger is the way you want to take your bike and you want to start at a bare bone price and with a blank canvas which is where you're going to have with the electric glide standard once again, it only comes in black. That's the only color you're gonna, only color option you're gonna have. Then that's a perfect bike for you. You get to save money. You start with a blank canvas, build your bike out to be whatever you want, as a, and you get to save money, right? Um, me, on the other hand, now before I chose the the soft tail standard on this on the toy models, I would just uh, me personally, I would just go with the street glide, just spend an extra three or four thousand dollars on it. And I'll get the infotainment system and it comes to up ready, even though like you're gonna change out the seat anyways. So yeah. I mean I don't know, me I'm more of like I I have been really getting into the specials lately because I just I love the new specials, the way they look. So I don't know. But i yeah, I would definitely go with probably a special over a standard, but that's gonna be Okay, so if I had to pick, I would honestly I'll go the different direction than what I went before before I chose the uh, soft tail standard. For this, I would honestly just choose a street glide over it just because of little little stuff that I care about. So, I mean, paint is number one. I want, like I, I want to have an option for a different paint job. Um, I want the infotainment system. Um, I, I really don't care about the solo C to up C because I would change out the C anyways. But th those little things to me, like they kind of matter. Plus the wheels are different. Um, it, it just looks a bit better in my opinion. Um, so I would, on this route, I would change, uh, I would definitely get a street glide over the electric standard. But like I said, if you are on a super budget and if you do want to build out a bike from the ground up, the electric glide standard is, is, is a great, great platform to start on. Um, and I've seen a lot of people do some amazing, great things to those bikes, like really, really cool. Okay, so as a bonus round, I kind of want to add this bike because this is Harley Davidson's most economical bike and it's the bike that I started on. It's the Harley Davidson Iron 883, which you're gonna get for $600 more this year for no reason, but I, I would choose an 883. It's a fun bike, especially if you are in a, in a city environment. If you, you know, if you want to, 
go around traffic and go from here to that place and not be doing that much miles in a day long distant weekend miles if you just literally want the bike to just get around go to work as a daily commuter um and you are working in a city environment perfect bike to get um it's very very nimble easy to get out of you know in between cars and there and here um and it's a cool looking bike man i I've, i'm a huge fan of the 883 i think it's an amazing bike it's cool it's beautiful it's um iconic it's um and it's a low price it's a it's a price that's uh gonna be an eye opener to a new rider to someone who want to start uh who want to start on a smaller type of bike and maybe grow from there but it's an amazing bike um and that's it that's my bonus round thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoy this type of content go ahead and subscribe hit that bell button so i notify you anytime i upload any type of new videos this right here is my 2015 Dyna Low Rider. This right here is my 2020 Low Rider. I switch. I'm building out little by little. Um, we got some cool projects next week. Like I said, I'm off from work the next week, so we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff in here. Um, uh, I got this video to come up. So we're gonna be installing this anti-theft little device. Woo! Anti-theft little device. Um, so we gotta do this video. We got a Memphis Shades uh, Road Warrior install. We gotta do. Um, we have a light bar install that I got to do as well and a few other little things that I got up the sleeve for next week. So tune in. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Like always guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.